Bonjour, today is vlog day 559. Morning. I'm laughing because last night right before going to bed, I made the mistake. I don't, I've never done this. I don't know. Well, I mean, I've done this before that I, I imagined death right before going to bed, which is kind of a mistake when you take a moment to like think about your own mortality, you know, and like it'll, you'll die eventually. Like you're going to come to the end of your life. It doesn't feel like it now. It doesn't feel like you'll ever die now. You're young, you're healthy. Like what could go wrong? So many things can go wrong, but not even thinking about anything like the, any pain or suffering, anything, just literally thinking about crossing that threshold into nothingness. And uh, you know, we we all we all have that we all have that innate human fear of of death. That's why we all fight it so terribly and all lose nonetheless. Not to start the day off on a really bright note or anything, but I, that's why I'm laughing is cuz it's just ridiculous. But the funny thing about it was the reason I thought it was a mistake more than anything was like, "Oh great." Like it kind of hit me, so I was like, "Well, now I'm going to dream about this." And I actually ended up only dreaming about good things, about nice things. So that I guess it worked out. I guess I got like the the worst thing out of my head while I was still conscious and then my subconscious is like, "You know what? I'm just going to play today." Good dreams. I slept well. I let myself sleep in because I haven't done that in a while and uh I'm probably just gonna stay home today. I'm gonna go for a run, if you couldn't tell, because I'm wearing my Iowa shirt. So I'm gonna go for a run. And then I'm going to knuckle down on Insta Freebie work. And I think today what we're going to do is talk a little bit about the apartment and the strategy that I kind of broke into a little bit yesterday and never got back to. If you're watching yesterday's vlog, you might remember that point when I was walking towards Enver and like there was construction on one side and some dude sandblasting a building on the other. And I just gave up because it was really obnoxiously loud. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about that today. We won't talk about death. Don't worry, that was just just laughing at myself. Apparently I'm really in existential mode right now because I'm 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 thinking all the way to like the great beyond. So whoops. Let's just go run. <laughs> I got robbed. My GPS did not, it didn't register like the first chunk of my run. I went for a four mile run and uh, you know, at something like a 8.45 pace based on like the two miles <laughs> that it did pick up. <sighs> oh well dad, I give you some extra credit dad on the leaderboard. Now you, you, got, you got no reason not to catch up to me now. <laughs> First things first, of course, trying to get that light fixed, changed. Here's the problem. Uh, I don't think this ladder is tall enough. I just got this from Jacqueline. I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna be on like the top rung, almost dying. So, you know, feel free to root for me. I have a screwdriver, but I'm not sure that the head is actually big enough to deal with this. So let's see what happens. Uh, is this thing just gonna like fall and hit me in the head is the real question. Ah. And I'm not worried about the screw hitting me in the head, I'm worried about the whole light fixture coming down. And not the whole thing, but the cover. You know what I mean? The whole thing's going apart and I just like <laughs> Do not do this with your mouth open. Lesson learned. Oh, your eyes. Screw down. Oh, covered in dead bugs. Ah, oh, the worst. Might have to do this when my face is all sweaty. That's the real question. Okay, other screw down. I'm just gonna try and do this without getting bugged. Oh, it's not so bad. I, got, I like literally got the worst to do it. Sweating bugs in the eyes. Ah. Oh no, this is a screw you build. I think I'm gonna go buy an LED replacement for this. All right, I'm gonna like step outside and debugify myself. And it was the screw kind of light bulb. The ones in the hallway are the kind where you have to like push in and twist and they pop out. So now I need to go buy a replacement for this. Oh, and wipe the sweat out of my eyes. Oh. I realize I only go to the light store when I've just gotten done running, but hopefully they uh, can forgive me for that because I don't want to take too long. I want to give the ladder back. I just want to get this over with. Ah, stinging. Ugh. Let's go get a light bulb. Um, 
those guys remain super friendly. I love going, I'll go in there and buy my light bulbs any day. They're a little bit pricey, but the LED bulbs are supposed to last like forever, right? I think it's totally worth it. Also just going in and seeing them is worth it. They were really excited. They actually went in, they all recognized me and apparently they have looked, they looked at my YouTube videos, but they couldn't find the one that they were in. So we just spent like a few minutes trying to find the one that they're in to share with them, which was really good. And then help them with a little bit of an English question and I'm out and ready to put my light bulb in. It looks cool. Never see it again, but it looks cool. Okay. There's plenty of room for a bigger bulb. I told her I wasn't really sure how much space there would be for a bulb, but I think you could have figured a bigger bulb in there. Now let's see if it works. It's a very warm light, actually. I'm gonna have, I'm afraid I'm gonna have a mishmash of lighting colors in here. We're gonna have to work on this. That is a nice warm color. Like now, the reason that I think it's worth buying an expensive LED fancy light like that, besides the fact that it just looks kind of nice, is because, well, two things. One, when I redo the room, I plan on getting rid of these like old plastic light fixtures and replacing them with something a little bit classier. So that light bulb, since it's gonna last like forever, can be put into something that looks nice once we're done with it. The other reason is because I wanna build a relationship with them because I'm hoping that I can approach them and ask them, hey, do you guys want to sponsor the lighting in my room? Give a couple of light fixtures and some lights because I really wanna fill this place up with a lot of light and I want it to look nice and they have really nice looking stuff. So uh, I figure, you know, it's good. I, I was really encouraging that they recognize me, they remembered who I was and so hopefully I can go back in there and talk with them about that in the future. So I think that makes it worth it between the fact that that light bulb is gonna last the rest of my life probably and then I can reuse it again later and then hopefully it's just, you know, helping to build a relationship with my neighborhood lighting store. I think that it's all good. It's all worthwhile. So on that note, that kind of leads us into the whole strategy side of things and I think I'll talk a little bit about what I plan to do but first I need to shower and eat lunch and then we can talk. I had an apple on my way to the lighting store. Pretty much saved my life. I'm back, I'm back in needing to eat mode. Yeah, brain's, brain's shutting down. Let's, let's do this. Let's down because I haven't washed my sheets in you know like two weeks but also the duvet cover that usually covers this thing. Buying sheets in Paris was a huge struggle for me when I first got here. I had no idea what I was looking for because they don't do sheets the same way we do them at home. And I always bought the wrong thing. I figured it out now, but you know, that's why I have this extra large duvet cover that I just used to cover this. Because this floral print isn't exactly my style. Also you'll notice it's hiding a second bed under here. So there are two beds here. It folds out and comes together, but it's like 50 years old. And this one is just like rickety as all get out. So I don't sleep in it because over time it kind of hurts you. It, like I've said this before, it's fine for like a couple nights, but after about a month, you start developing like scoliosis and you don't really know why. So that's why this is not happening. And we're gonna get rid of this bed, both beds. I'm gonna move them out of here. And that's what I was gonna talk about today. All this furniture that you see in here, pretty much, the exception of probably the table, at least for now, it's gonna get Booted. I'll put it all down in the garage. We saw how much space we have down there. Save my shirts from this chair that's unraveling and the nails keep shredding everything. And then we're gonna turn this whole space into something new. Now, the reason that I was gonna talk about strategy, I figure I might as well just tell you guys what I'm thinking. You know, like with the watch situation, I don't ever wanna get sponsorships and not talk about it and not be open about it because for one, it's illegal to try and sneak anything. But for two, I'm only gonna work with people that I want to work with and I'm only gonna do stuff that I want to do generally or that I at least find interesting. I was talking with Nathan, my actor buddy, who I, we need to introduce on the blog at some point, but he turned down like a job for McDonald's once and something else. For me, I like, I, I don't wanna eat at McDonald's. I, I don't really wanna promote McDonald's, but if McDonald's were to come to me and ask me to be in a commercial here, I'd probably say yes, just so that like we could have that in the vlog because it'd be a really interesting experience. Not because I actually want to promote McDonald's that much. I guess that'd be a conversation, but you get the idea. Like, I think it'd be fun. I think that generally by keeping everything on the table and keeping everything open as I go, we can just do kind of whatever, experience it together, make a story out of it, and then maybe later be like, yeah, probably shouldn't have done that. But it's better than uh, just trying to like figure it out on my own and keep it sneaky. I have this really bad tendency. Sorry, I know we're going way off base, but I'm just trying to explain myself a little bit. I have this really bad tendency to try to 
figure out what I think people want to hear and then dance around what they don't want to hear a little bit. Not that I'm lying, but you know, you try to phrase things or frame things in a way and it's, it's, it's exhausting and it's not helpful. And so I'm really, really trying on just being direct and honest in pretty much every facet of my life. And that includes on the vlog. The vlog have been generally very, very vulnerable. There are a couple of stories I haven't told yet that I intend to tell. And of course there's some stories that I should probably never tell, but that this goes along with that. So that in mind, I'm looking at this right now as four potential partnerships, maybe five. One of them would be lighting. That's uh, open, I'm hoping to talk to. I did randomly meet their proprietor and their staff seemed to know me. So I'm hoping to talk to them down the line about jumping on board with the lighting situation. I'm gonna try and find a couple of furniture stores, talk to them, figure out if I can get like, you know, some desk, something something to put on the wall. I'm hoping, honestly, I wanna put a giant TV right here. Not because I watch TV, but I would be able to watch movies. Put a couch down here. Above me would be the mezzanine bed. The mezzanine bed being the central piece. And that's kind of what I'm gonna do that last and the decorations of a variety and I feel like I'm probably gonna go for a wood trim if not a uh, theme just to keep it warm in here like I, I need to repaint the place make it all fresh and white again then like put in some nice wooden shelving and so forth and then we'll have it all together there are a couple things that need to happen one I need to obviously draw this all out and like measure things and figure out how exactly it's gonna work especially because the bed is going to take up a huge portion of space so that's why it's really important that it's actually really tall the reason I want it to be really tall and not just like a Murphy bed Bed or one of those beds that raises and lowers is because I want to actually use this ground space for like real furniture. In particular, I want like a love seat or a couch to go under here so that I could sit on it and read, watch movies. And then of course, if I have a uh, friend stay the night, like my dad's coming into town and is gonna have to get an Airbnb because there's not enough space for him. Whether or not it's an actual pull out bed or not, at least it's a couch that he could sleep on. And it frees up floor space for, you know, somebody else to sleep on the mat on the floor, whatever. Now the strategy that goes into that, the reason that I'm thinking I'm gonna start with people like the lighting side of things and then furniture and decoration, whatever, maybe decoration first and then lighting. I'm kind of going to go to the, the groups of people that there are the most of. So there are tons of decoration companies, tons of places to go get shelving, whatever it is that we end up deciding that we need to throw in here. Same with lights. Like if open doesn't really want to work with me, that's fine. There are a lot of other, there are tons of other light stores in Paris. So just going around, handing out my media kits saying, Hey, here's who I am. Here's what's going on. I really want to put this room together. Would you like to be a part of it? Obviously in vlogging, going in, picking stuff out, working with them, talking with them and working my way up to the bed company because the bed company, they're very expensive, but they're also like the only company that does them. I think there are a couple of companies around like you can get Ikea beds and stuff like that, but they're like rickety and you have to reinforce them. And I don't, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't really want to trust an Ikea, a hundred euro Ikea bed with my body five or six feet above the ground. And the nice thing about those other guys, the ones that I want to work with, um, Space Logia, I think is how you would say it. They're made locally in France. They seem to be very high quality and they custom build it, which means that it would be much more interesting video wise as well than just going to Ikea. Like going to Ikea and, and buying a bed, anybody can do that. That's, you know, and if I have to do that, I have to do that. That's way less interesting than like, let's say actually going, talking to them, designing something, going to the factory out in Western France, like watching the bed actually get made, make a little trip out of it, you know, come back here, put it together. That sounds way more interesting to me as a video as well. And then of course, for all those companies, uh, they get, you know, all that extra time spent with me. And of course for the bed, I mean, the bed's gonna end up being in like every shot ever. Most of the stuff's gonna end up, look at you guys, you guys know my room better than I do. So that's kind of the strategy. I'm thinking I'm gonna work at that broad base first and just try to find the partnerships because I guess I didn't explain that because if I can find partnerships at the lower levels first, then it just kind of snowballs hopefully, right? So if I can find a decoration store that's down to work with me, then I go to a lighting store and I say, hey, decoration store is working with me. Would you like to work with me as well? And they say, yes, they'd like to work with me, I sh you know, with the plans that I show them, whatever. Then I go to a furniture company and say, hey, I need like a desk and a chair and a dresser. But just kind of throw that stuff out there, find the company and say, hey, look, these two are working with me, would you like to? And then by that point, I have hopefully three partners that are ready to kind of fill the space up. And then I go to the bed company and say, hey, you guys are gonna be the central focus of all of this. You're gonna be the main piece. Would you like to work with me? And then hopefully they're like, why, sure. We'd love to work with you because if they don't, it's not gonna be good. Also, a uh, mattress company, you gotta get a mattress, of course. Thankfully, Cheryl has kind of paved the way with that. Even if the company that she worked with doesn't before, it, it really, that's actually kind of what inspired all this, to give credit to Cheryl, link below. But if you've never seen Cheryl before, you can check her out. But Cheryl uh, very successfully wrangled a mattress, and that's kind of what, I was like, wow, like, we're, we're smaller on the YouTube side of things, right? Like, medium-sized YouTubers is like getting close to 100,000. And so for that, that's like kind of what opened my eyes a little bit, to like, wow, like, why go out and buy all this stuff if I'm gonna be making these videos about all this stuff anyways, why not partner with them in the process? So that's where that all came from. I figure I'm gonna be putting this place together anyways, gonna be making videos anyways, might as well, you know, get help in the process.
So that's what I'm thinking. So you end up with your decorations, your lights, your furniture, your mattress, all those companies saying we're in. And then you go to the bed people and you're like, hey, here's this whole project. Here's what I'm working with. Here's what I want to do. Here's how I want to make videos with you. Would you be interested? And then really hope they say yes, because those beds are really expensive. And uh, I mean, really they're the ones that I want. If I'm going to live in this tiny little room for the next like two or three years, I don't know that's going to happen. It's very possible that's the case. I should probably get a bed that's gonna last and also that makes this space into something much more usable. So that's the thought. I mean, I currently sleep on this mat on the floor. This bed, generally a void. And all of this furniture is old and a lot of it is falling apart. So that is the strategy. That's where I'm at for today. I'm going to go from here. I'm going to go down to, I think I might go to the Peloton. I was going to try and stay here just to work, but I might go to the Peloton because uh, Faye, I don't know if, if Faye's ever been on the vlog, but she's a friend who's upping her teach sejour and she's going to need some help with that. So I might go help her just basically try to help her get that squared away. She just has a couple of specific things she needs help with. So I might go meet her at the Peloton. That's where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and keep working and put this together or start putting this together until I hear from Faye. If I don't hear from Faye, this will be the end of the vlog for today. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe. I probably should have asked you to subscribe way earlier in the video. I keep forgetting to do that, but uh, please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And of course, uh, we'll see what happens with this whole bed space scenario. If you happen to know anybody that would like to hook me up with, I don't need a lot, just a little bit of decorations and stuff. Let me know. I'm definitely, I need to draw, draw everything up and kind of come up with a theme. I want this to look really nice. I want it to be good. And I want to put lots of light in, light everywhere so that when we sit like this and talk, even I just, higher production quality and you're not stuck with all of this like 60 year old floral print behind me, among other things. Anywho, I'll see you later. Wait. They ended up taking too long to get back to me, which is okay because I just don't have time to get down to the Peloton and back. However, Kushan is in the neighborhood and he offered me some Chemex. I haven't had any coffee today, so uh, let's go get some Chemex. Also, oh yeah, just gotta make sure I go down the right street. I'm not used to having friends in the neighborhood I can just walk to. We'll do that, we'll do that, and then we'll get back to work.